What I've got going right here is that I've got two bowls. One is just a bowl of clean water, and the other one is a dish of soapy water. And I've got some pepper. I'm going to sprinkle some pepper in the big bowl here. This is clean water, putting the pepper in. And the pepper is hydrophobic, just like virus, viruses are. So it, the water cares you know, nothing about it. It doesn't really mix. It just sits on top. It is hydrophobic. If I put my finger in, nothing really happens here. And now, actually, I start getting pepper on my finger. I don't have a lot of pepper in this water. Let me add a little bit more to give you the full, full deal. So I've got pepper now on my finger, and what I can do, actually, is put it in the soapy water, swish it around. Now I've got soap on my fingers. If I put that into the water, look how all of the pepper actually goes away from where my hands go into the water. Look at that. It sort of like uh, expels it, right? Oh, well, there's a couple of things scientifically going on here. One is you're breaking the surface tension of the water to get all technical. But really what's happening is that you can tell that um, the pepper and the soap does not mix, right? And so that's a great example of you know, why we need soap when we wash our hands. Water is not good enough. You need to use the soap when you wash your hands to make sure that you are uh, definitely uh, getting rid of all those germs.